guys, Sammy Dirt here, back with a brand new video today, talking about Lightning Strikes Twice, which, if you guys don't know, is the first sort of story arc in the recent Flash Rebirth. This is a huge arc, not in the terms of amount of comics, but how big the story was. First off, you return to Wally West, which is huge because he kind of sets off the whole DC Rebirth thing. By trying to get through various heroes through the Speed Force, the only one to bring him back is the Flash by remembering Wally before he had left and was never seen again. It's worth mentioning that no one had memories of Wally because he was stuck in the Speed Force. Then you get uh, the new Wally coming with speed powers, along with a bunch of new speedsters, but most notably Wally West. But what big happens before that, you ask? Well, Godspeed happens, a cool new villain in the Flash who can steal speed by killing, but they didn't know it, it was August, Barry's close friend, who Flash already knew was a speedster, but since he was so fast, he made two pieces at once in different costumes, so Barry wouldn't suspect anything. He was also one who tells Barry about Black Hole, which is the story arc doing right now, which is like a terrorist-ish organization who's upset with speed them, to be correct. So Godspeed thinks he's good by killing, but he does more bad than good, but puts away in, you know, Iron Heights, the, the whole lot. But now let's talk about the two Wallies. There are no two speedsters in DC, both called Wally West, okay? That's pretty easy to do. But the only difference, well, big difference that most people are taking note of is that one is The Flash. I know, I know what you're thinking, but hold on. For sake of explaining this, this Wally is Wally 1, this Wally is Wally 2. Okay, so now I'm explaining the two flashes. Barry knows Wally 1 has passed him up in the speed force. He's way faster than him now. He has blue lightning, which is better than what Barry Allen has if you're going to have comic book continuity. Okay, so now I'm explaining how he earned the title. Well, Barry feels like Wally 1 has honestly earned the title of The Flash because he's worked so hard to get there. He's been Kid Flash for many years, but he deserves... He thinks that Wally 1 deserves his own place in DC, sort of. Like, he deserves to be a hero, deserves to get that title of superhero, not sidekick. Now, this is where the Wally 2 comes in. Wally 2 is beginning speedster. He notices that there's, like, lightning flowing over him. Then on his tablet, if I'm to be right, um, he sees an ad for speedsters come to Star Labs, uh, improve on your speed. But then once Barry realizes it's Iris's nephew, he's like, no, I'm sorry, I can't accept you. So, but Fatch is such Barry Allen's girlfriend, sort of, realizes that... He has potential and starts training him on the side for a little bit. Barry sees that, oh hey, this kid has potential, become Kid Flash. And Wally Watch is like, yes, what I want to be, I want to be a hero, I want to save people, I want to be a good person. So then they together take down Godspeed by like outrunning him or something like that. And this is huge, and at the end of the series, it's kind of like a weird transition comic book in between those two story arcs. Uh, Wally 1 talks to Wally 2, and it's like, yo, I realize it's hard to trust the Flash because Wally 2 doesn't know Flash's identity yet. It's like, oh, I can't trust him because of that. So I know it's hard and all that, but trust me, he's a good guy, he's gonna train you well, he's gonna treat you well, he's gonna do everything you need to have him do. And this is a big impact, this is basically saying, yes, you can actually take my spot as Kid Flash, because you have earned it. You are the next Wally West, you are the next Speedster. So that's all I had to talk about today, and this is Infanoon, setting out, if you guys before I leave though, let me know if you guys want a little more of these videos talking about comic books and all that. Although, if you guys want like the, like, the gameplay and all that, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Leave them in the comics do comments down section below so I've been reading too many comics. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on bell notifications. It's dumb YouTube does that, but I still ask for it. So you get, whenever I upload a new video, you guys get notified of that. And honestly, this is better, you know, you get 
content before most people because you get notified about it. And you want to just do it. Anyway, so also check the description down for all social media links, my website, and everything like that. So, see you next time. Infinite Nerd, signing out.